Okay, in this little video, we're talking about scale playing the hands together. Now, this is something that most students struggle with when they're first starting out. And we're looking at our most common fingering pattern that you would find in say something like C major, D major, E major, G major, A major. So they've got your kind of stereotypical uh, sequence of fingering. Uh, so this is what we're focusing on here. So what people find challenging about this is this. When the right hand thumb is playing, the left hand two is playing. And then it swaps. When left hand thumb is playing, right hand two is playing. So it's kind of doing this here. This is the movement that you have to get really, really good at to master your scale playing. So just practice that in the air a few times. You can bring this to the lap. So right hand thumb, left hand two, and then it swaps. Left hand thumb, right hand two. Swap, swap. Get really good at alternating between these things. You can practice these things on a tabletop. You can practice them in little idle moments when you're waiting for the kettle to boil on the bench. You can find times maybe on the steering wheel even. Just make sure that you're paying attention if you're driving is my uh, little bit of advice while you are on the road. So now when it comes to putting this into action with the scale, the other little preparation we're gonna do is we're gonna frame that movement here with a third finger to start. So threes happen together. So threes, then we're going Right hand thumb, left hand two, other way around. Left hand thumb, right hand two, and then threes together again. So three, right thumb, left thumb, three, on the lap. Threes, right thumb, left thumb, threes. Do it again with me. Threes, right thumb, left thumb, threes. Okay, so get really good at doing that. Now, we're gonna put it in the context of the scale. Here we go, so we play the first two notes of the scale. Easy enough. Here we go, here's our sequence. Threes, right thumb, left hand two there. Left thumb, right hand two there. Threes again, and then we use them up. So the first two and the last two notes, we're just using up whatever fingers are available. Let's do it again. Threes together. Right hand thumb, left hand thumb, threes together. And then we use them up, okay? so. Notice when I'm doing this, I'm, uh, you know, we do have the right hand thumb with the left hand too, and then it swaps. But the brain is not designed to multitask. We have to monotask. So pay to just focus on which hand has the thumb at any given time. So we'll do it again. Threes, right hand thumb, left hand thumb, threes. And we use them up. Now, we could do the same thing in D major. So we'll do the same thing, same pattern. Available fingers. Right hand and left hand three together. Right hand thumb, left hand thumb, threes together. Use them up. I'll do it again. Threes, right thumb, left thumb, threes. Same in E. Threes, right thumb, left thumb, threes. Same in G. because they use that particular finger pattern. Now, if you wanted to extend it over two octaves, very simple, all we do is the same thing again, but at the top, all we're gonna do differently is land on a thumb on the C here instead. So, threes, right thumb, left thumb, threes. Now, rather than pinky, we bring the thumb up. This is our checkpoint. Again, the hands really like matching fingers, yeah? Uh, and this particular case, they both happen to be thumbs. To continue, we bring the fourth finger over. Here's our pattern again. Threes, right thumb, left thumb, threes. And then we finish with the same fingering that we did before. Now, when the scale descends, it's the same pattern, just back to front. Threes, now this time left thumb, right thumb, threes. And then we end up the thumbs here if we're doing the two octaves. If we continue, fourth finger over in the right. Threes together, left thumb. finish by playing the scale without the chit chat and you can transpose it into any other key that you like.